What's up, Cover Killer Nation? Uh, you'll really have to uh, kind of move past uh, the fact that I haven't been here for a couple days. You also have to move past the fact that I look like a mixture of Varg Vikrani's uh, Escape from Prison photo mixed with Zach Galifianakis' beard. Mainly because I feel like a hot wet bag of ass. Yeah, I contracted myself a nasty flu virus or something that's going on. So the downside of that was of course the fact that I wasn't really able to get out of bed to make a video today. Until right about now, it's about 2.30 a.m. And the positive, however, is the fact that I got to listen to a lot of albums today. And the first one that I want to talk about, I'm going to hopefully talk about a couple of them over the next couple of days and upload them for your pleasure. It's a new death metal release that's coming out here in 2011, in fact, here in a couple of weeks. It's Deicides to Hell with God. Now, everybody knows who Deicide is, hopefully, by now, at least if you're a member of the metal community. It's, they're basically a death metal classic. They are a stalwart within this genre. In fact, uh, two, their first two albums are the two, or should I say, two of the three highest grossing, uh, selling uh, albums of the SoundScan era. The only one that's actually above it. Is, obituary, is an obituary album, should I say, entitled The End Complete. Now, with 2011's uh, To Hell With God, this is actually probably one of the most focused Deicide albums that I've heard in quite some time. I was a big fan of their more recent albums, such as Scars of the Crucifix, however, there always seemed like there was a little something missing. All of the pieces were slowly coming together, however, they didn't really have that magnificent, complete opus that we've been waiting for, and Deicide fans have been clamoring, clamoring for uh, for quite some time. Now, of course, Vital Remains fans, which is Glenn Burton's uh, side project, were extremely satisfied with some of the different things that they were able to get, including Dechristianize and the like. Uh, however, the Deicide fans were really clamoring for that great uh, Deicide record that they've been looking for for quite some time, and I think that they really have gotten it uh, with uh, To Hell With Christ, or, uh, you know what I mean, To Hell With God, should I say. This is an album that really shines forth where in all the different places where Deicide kind of stood out within the genre. They were always one that had uh, very uh, different sounds or uh, song structures, not to mention had very impressive soloing, and all of the, the all of the song escapes and all of the uh, the structures were very complex. They weren't exactly what you considered to be normal for death metal. With death metal, it's a, kind of a very basic style, unless you get into the really technical variety. And this is where DSI kind of post-borders on that uh, little bit of a technicality note. Although they don't go completely as over the top as you've heard in some of the bands of uh, more recent memories, such as ne uh, Necrofregist, uh, they are definitely a band that shows a little bit more of a technical wizardry uh, than your typical uh, death metal band. Not to mention the solos are not nearly as random sounding. Uh, th there's definitely structure to it, there's a flow to it. Uh, there's a rhythm to it, and mo uh, more times than not, it leads to building the dynam dynamacy of the song itself. <coughs> Excuse me. The one thing I gotta say is this. How Can You Call Yourself a God is probably one of the best songs that I've heard in their catalog period. It's the last track off of this release, and it's fantastic. It's probably the song that I would recommend for all of you guys out there. Uh, if I ever get the opportunity to provide you guys with a link from this album, that's going to be the song I'd provide you guys to, because it's probably the best song off the record, not to mention, like I said, one of the best I've heard in their discography in years. And this is a really positive thing. There's a lot of positives to get from this album. Probably the most important thing is that this is not an album that gets redundant or boring. They're able to mix the pot up enough where death metal, uh, loyal death metal fans, not to mention maybe the casual fan, are both going to find something that they really enjoy about this. It's not going to be something where it's a one-and-done experience, where you listen to a couple tracks, and then you're satisfied. You're going to want to listen to the whole entire thing. And that's where To Hell With God is definitely a positive album. It's definitely a good start to the death metal year here in 2011. So Deicide fans, you got something to celebrate. Because whenever this album is released, I want to see you guys out there purchasing it in Leeds, because it's an awesome one. You got, it has the cover killer seal of approval, so it should have yours.